Okay, so this one's gonna be a kind of casual conversation because the man sitting next to me, his name is Stu, by the way, yep. he's technically normally on the other side of the camera. He's actually one of my, my social media, he doesn't like the name guru, but he's my social media guy. Like he is my leverage with social media, marketing, branding, and that presence that I'm trying to get out there. And really, I just kind of wanted to ask him, or maybe you can tell the viewers how powerful social media is right now. I mean, we are living in a day and an age where like social media and marketing and posting is significant. And I can sit here all day. I'm, gonna, I'm, not, gonna, I'm not gonna keep mm -hmm. talking. I'm gonna let you talk. But I can tell you um, from a technical standpoint last year, I probably closed anywhere between 10 to 12 actual deals. 10 to 12. I know agents that only do 10 to 12 deals a year. I, I closed just 10. From social. To, just from social media connections somebody, and contact. And somebody, are, yeah. yeah, it's just amazing. So, so the power of social media and business, what do you think? That, I mean, the power is huge. I mean, if you think about it, if we look back just a short while ago, there wasn't even a tool like social media before yeah. for businesses, right? If you had gone back 20 years before the creation of Instagram or any of these Facebook, you had to go through all sorts of different tactics to get your information out there, mm -hmm. staying top of mind, all the campaigns, mailers, mailers especially, okay, talking about real estate industry, yeah. like they had a whole, and I still hear conversations when you go to brokerages and I hear it through real estate agents I work with, that they're still talking about some of those old methods, yeah. but that the ones that are hiring me generally are of the mindset that that's that way is dead. And they yeah. profess that in their videos we make, like it's, this doesn't make sense. Don't be using mailers anymore. Nobody's there. Go to social media, create an audience, right? And help propel your brand. This doesn't just work for real estate agents. Yeah. It works across the board. Whether you're doing any, any business mm -hmm. that you can imagine, it's a good way to propel it and help it grow. I would also even say even personally, from a hobby standpoint, if you're just generally interested in something, it's a really good way to connect with like-minded people. Yeah. So the power's huge. I would also say with this time frame comes more responsibility because as you were talking, I was thinking, I mean, like you said, 20 years ago, people are doing the mailers. Well, the mailer was really, hi, I'm Felicia Rexford. I'm your local real estate agent. Huh? And then I'm supposed to mail that to you 15 times, 20 times throughout the year. And by you receiving those and seeing my name, I can do that in one post on social media. But now people, I think, are also yearning for information. So the postcard used to be, yeah. hi, I'm Felicia Rexford. I'm your local real estate agent. Now it's how can Felicia educate me or show me or tell me that she's the best source that I right. should use for the job? And so, like I said, with that, I feel like there's a certain amount of responsibility. Like the content yeah, I yeah. put out there needs to be accurate and correct. It needs to be consistent. People want to learn. And that's how you you help me look put together with beautiful vi to. videos and lighting and all the things. But in reality, I still have I, the, the responsibility is actually making good content like making good content. Well, and certainly the, the, the fact of the matter is, is if you're not doing it, someone else is going to, yep. right? And, and again, there's kids out there right now making full-time livings using the camera as their medium to their clientele, right? So if you look at the streamers and the people playing video games, a lot of these YouTubers, they've never had another job. That's the only yeah. job they know. And they're gonna, they're gonna fill in the gap if you, do some, if you don't do it, right? Mm -hmm. and, and really you think about, you're actually just tapping into something that people are gonna do anyway in most cases, especially in the learning space. If you're talking about bar, buyers and people, let's talk real estate, they okay. want to learn things about the process. How does a yes. purchase agreement work? What yes. do these terms mean? What's, a, what's due diligence? What does that mean? They're gonna be doing the research anyway. And what they were previously had relegated to was just blog posts, you know, maybe mm -hmm. some writing. Not everyone's education form of absorption is through writing. Mm -hmm. They would have to go to a library, maybe ask a local realtor, which in your favor, true. But if you leverage social media, you can actually give them it and quite often you can give it to them beforehand. And if you're able to do that, yeah. where you can give them a piece yep. of knowledge before they knew they yes. wanted it, they look at you in a whole other light. Right. And that information, again, across any business model is really key because they're gonna be wanting the information. They wanna know more about the product, how it works, what's going on with it. And if you give it to them and then you give them the gems and you dive them deeper into the process of it, mm -hmm. it just entices them more to work with you. We just did a video um, based on buyers buying in a seller's market. And so that was the one that I wanted to hit because mm -hmm. buyers are feeling so overwhelmed right now 
now. They may not even know me, but they may scroll or see my YouTube or whatever. And I try to give them some really good tips. I hope that they could actually, if, if they're in a different market, they're using an agent. I hope that that information educated them enough. Yeah, it translates over. Yeah, to be able to pick up on their agent, maybe not being the agent for them. Oh, you don't know these tactics, that kind of thing. So, um, cause more experienced agents mm -hmm. will know these tactics. So. Um, well, in here, you're not trying to steal business or any of that nature. I mean, you're still trying to put it out there. Edu I'm the really just trying comes, to educate. But... That's it. From a really good yeah. standpoint, buyers, mm -hmm. I know you're overwhelmed. Here are some ideas, you know, mm -hmm. on getting your offer accepted in a seller's market. So, and you're right, people are just loving that information. So. Yeah, I really, I really do think that the education you can give to people is is almost like a bonus, really. But the biggest portion of it that is of any use to anybody is the top of mind is again kind of maintaining that just presence in buyers minds especially again talking about real estate but any business whatever it is they may not need your services now yeah but if you give them good value you actually give them some information or something and consistent, to, consistent posting, yes yeah and postings. that's where the consistency yeah. comes in which is a whole other section that's why you hire someone else to outsource it. It doesn't have to be a videographer in this capacity, but it can even be someone to help you post, making some content, even slightly, like doubling or tripling your, your yearly goals on it posting out, yeah. I think is a great, great way to kind of start and get your feet wet in it because, again, that top of mind is huge yeah. because the day they do need it, they remembered that one fun thing you said or that really good piece of information and go, that person knows what they're talking or about. Or just enjoy better. now re-watching you daily because yeah. you're posting so consistent, mm -hmm. you know, that you're, like you said, top of mind. How would I not be top of mind? You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. With the amount of postings that I'm doing. You're yeah. right. You're right. So consistency is key. Um, education is great, but consistency like almost trumps all. And, consistency uh, is huge. It's I mean, huge. It really is. You can't, you can't put, I mean, you can put a price because obviously there's only so much that you can put out on it, but the um, social media is a beast that will take everything you can give it. Just if you can post once a day, it'll take it two, three times a day, five times a day. It doesn't care. It will eat it up. And yeah. really, you do increase your chances. There probably is a diminishing return there. Yeah. And I believe I've talked to some other people. Yeah. I think we even talked to Ryan about that before. There's diminishing returns at a certain point, especially with your schedule and what you're trying to get out of it. But yeah. it will take it. And so really analyzing that as the first step is actually the ability to do it and stick with the consistency I think is huge. Yeah. So I think obviously, I mean, I'm a little biased because I'm in the industry and I'm on this side, but I feel like you I mean, I, like I said, I just now. said, I've closed 10 to 12 deals last year. I mean, that's again, somebody's entire income and that all came from social media in one way, shape or form. Mm -hmm. So I will mm -hmm. say that um, some leads came to me because they heard me on a podcast or because they found me on YouTube or things like that. They, they watched me on Instagram, you know, that kind of thing. They all came from different av avenues, but yeah. it's all that social media type, Which you know, is a question network. you should be asking, like, what platform should you be on? Now, that's kind of a mixed bag as far as an answer. You really need to double down on the ones you think you can be involved with. The ones you prefer or, again, the ones that you really think fit closer to your niche. Now I know a lot of real estate agents actually, I think because of the age bracket, something like a Facebook actually fills in a lot more of that sort of boomer age bracket mm -hmm. where they're still using Facebook. They're not yeah. quite on Instagram. Mm -hmm. So you might want to consider that if you're in real estate, for instance, but if you're I in, do both. which yep, and I you do should, both. you know, and that's what yep. I'm constantly preaching is just like, keep spit it out as much content to each platform as you can. They do have different requirements. So this is why I say it's important to niche down a little bit because you can't necessarily easily hit TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, no, it would do be, a podcast. Maybe you want to have some Pinterest because you've yeah. got some creative outlet. Like it's its own whole thing. So picking your, your platform is probably pretty important and just double down on that. And I believe any other sort of social media guru out there would actually say the same yes. thing. Pick a couple, hit them hard. If you can have the opportunity to branch, then grow to the next ones along, but really pick a couple and, and see what you can. I think we're doing okay. Yeah, Stop we're doing really enough. good. And I think I may almost end off on, um, I just told you this, I heard my friend Ryan Pineda say this not too long ago, and I think he heard it from somebody else on social media too, but essentially it is the people that are getting a lot of the business off of like the social media platforms aren't always necessarily like the best business person, but they are the best marketer. So they're learning to market themselves on social media so much that they're becoming successful. That doesn't necessarily mean that they're the best, and, yeah, but they're the agree. best marketer. Yep. No, it's huge. So that's Being, great. And that's kind of really goes to the macro of it. Marketing in general is something you need to be looking at, especially in the digital age, if you want to reach your clientele, whether you're starting a new industry or you're in an industry and looking to level up. And although I have you here, that is the, like, you, you got all the fancy stuff and you make the pretty videos. Really, people can just turn the dang camera around, Super start simple. for free, 
They haven't been posting at all last year. This year they should work on X amount of posts by turning the camera around. Yep. Maybe the next year that you you kept saying double down. They're double downing. Oh, they're double downing. Da, 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 da. They're double dipping. Double dipping. Whatever. They're they're um, going in harder on their posts on social media. Free, 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 mm -hmm. free. That's the other aspect. And then they maybe get to a level where they're like, okay, now I need a stew. Mm -hmm. Now I really want to make it, you know, something special. Yeah. So you can, you can start this all on a simple level. Start it for free. You don't have to, and don't overthink it. That's yeah. the thing that a lot of people. I still do. <laughs> He's always like, just go. And I'm like, ah. the value, the information is the value. But at the end of the day, you can be, you can, you know, you want to cater your brand. You want to look nice. We yeah. all do. We don't want to look stupid. Nobody yeah. does, but yes. um, the value is in the information. So focus on the information, take the camera, turn it around as Felicia said, and go. just go out there and go do it. High five, Stu. All Thanks right. for being on this side yeah, of the no camera. Yeah, no worries. It was fun. It was exciting. And today was about like social media and marketing and business and all this fun stuff. But you know that your girl is on YouTube and I'm a realtor. I'm a real estate investor. Um, I'm really trying to educate and help you. So at the end of the day, who's your homegirl? I'm your homegirl.